Hello there Leos, welcome to your weekly reading. So this reading is going to run roughly from January 1st through January 7th. I hope you have had a wonderful New Year's and uh, that you enjoy the celebration with friends and families and loved ones. So when I was shuffling out this spread for you, I saw an image. Um, what I see in my view is, uh, it's kind of like the, uh, the front end of a boat, okay? So it's like this. It's going at top speed. It's a really big vessel, but it's moving so fast. It's like gliding and cutting through the water and there are ripples of waves on either side. So it's going really, really fast. And then I see a young man on the helm of the boat and he's so excited. The wind in his hair and, you know, just um, the boat going at such fast speed. And he's looking around and it's, it's not in open water. There are still... There's still some land um, there. It seems to me like it's still, you know, by the coast or at least by the shore. So you can still see some land. It's weaving in and out of little islands and you can see land formations on the right hand side. So I feel like it's just, you know, really exciting for him to be able to see the scenery. And then I see as well, um, he's looking at the water. He's turning around. He's smiling. He's so happy. Um, and then there are dolphins kind of like um, swimming alongside of the boat trying to catch up. So it's a really, really amazing sight. Um, the speed in which we are moving, it seems to me like it's almost like crunch time, crunch time for you guys, Leo. So despite, you know, the, the image being very vibrant, very lighthearted, very carefree, I still feel like there's a lot for you to take care of. Okay, so take in, absorb the, the, the sights, the scenery, um, enjoy the experience. But then again, you know, it's not the rest of the week is not completely carefree. There's a lot for you to take care of. And I keep seeing this thing about speeding up time, accelerating, um, the, whatever you've been working on, it's traveling at top notch speed and you're going to need to catch up. Okay. So aside from that, what I am seeing here in the cards is um, there's a major, major, major undertaking that you are trying to get completed, okay? And I feel like there has been delays and distractions and like things that were, some of them were within your control, but the, the bulk of it was outside of your control. Things that you couldn't control that was kind of like the, the it threw a wrench in the works and it pretty much stalled or derailed your plans. And I feel like this is a major endeavor. For some of you, this could be, you know, uh, academia, like um, finishing up some type of a major project for school, um, finishing up, like, for example, you have like a portfolio of all of your best works and you're waiting for a professor or you're waiting for a teacher to uh, grade and then give you back that works, that piece of work so that you can put it in your portfolio so that you can send it off for somebody to look at. So graduate school, a scholarship foundation, uh, a grant, a loan, something like that related to academia. For some of you, it could be like a master's thesis. For others, it could be a research project. Um, for others, it could be like getting funding, getting a grant, getting, you know, so you have to really uh, push all of these proposals to the forefront. So you're, you're work, you have been working really, really, really hard. And I feel like it's, it's not like you're coasting. The work is not done. So you still need to keep on top of things because I feel like there's an element here. Look at the... Um, hourglass okay timing timing time is slipping away from us we need to get a move on and there is still so much work left to do this is the harvest okay lots of work that is contingent upon other people it's not indicating to me teamwork because everyone is kind of like doing their own thing i mean they know what needs to be done so they're all just um you know doing the same thing it's not collaboration so much but i feel like it's more It's more like the tail end of it because the harvest is usually, you know, all the hard work of planting, watering, overseeing is already done. And the harvest is sort of like enjoying the fruits of your labor, but at the same time is, is labor intensive. So I just feel like, you know, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done and things needs to be done because it's contingent on the decision of other people. And as a result of it, I feel like some things might have been stalled. 
okay, the hangman, literally the hangman. Some things might have been stalled, pending some type of a decision from other people, pending some type of a final outcome for a specific situation, and pending some type of, um, I, I, I'm hearing here like a, a voice of authority on the subject. So I feel like you're, you're doing whatever you can from your end. You're pushing to get everything done by that deadline. And then once everything is released to the universe or to that higher authority, that's when you can kind of relax and that's when you can, you know, embark on whatever trip, whatever journey, whatever um, rest and relaxation, okay? So this is the card here, this is the Fool. And um, I definitely see some sightseeing. Um, high elevation is really, it, it's indicated here. So I don't know if you guys are doing a lot of mountain climbing. A lot of, um, I see like, um, I see as well, you know, research when it comes to high elevation. Um, and once again, that, that imagery of the boat, it seems to me as if, once the holdup is done, you're going to be released from the gate and you're going to be able to sail freely. Okay, so it's like the last leg of the journey. We're heading towards the harvest. And once everything is done and appraised and value and you're selling off your harvest, for example, that's when, you know, magic will happen. That's when you're free. That's when you can rest and that's when you can really enjoy your life. And that's when, you know, things will be coming in a very definite manner and I feel like there is a lot of good news coming into the picture we have as well the nine of cups and this is a wish fulfillment so for those of you who have been actively looking for work or who are waiting on uh, kind of like the final outcome of something exams um, appraisal someone looking at your portfolio looking at your work for example what I feel happening is um, I feel like it's going to be very well received, okay? For those of you who are trying to get published, it's going to be very well received. And for those of you that are trying to get something off the ground, um, even finding work, finding projects, um, if you have completed something and you're going through an evaluation period, okay, and you're kind of like, oh, I don't know... I don't, I don't know how they're going to grade me. I don't know how they're going to perceive me. Or I don't know if I did that one thing right. You're going to be very, very well received. So you're getting like top scores. I have a lot of cards here that indicates, you know, you put in a lot of work. And uh, there are endings to, you know, the, the laborsome energy because there is a new start. There's a new dawn. And I also feel, you know, career success is coming through. Getting good letters of recommendations, getting good reviews, getting good appraisal, and especially getting a new start as well. Okay, so like jobs, um, interviews, being called back in, being um, someone calling you, arranging for interviews. So if you've been waiting on that, I feel like it's going to be really, really good. If you have been um, managing your finances, okay, like nickel and diming yourself, trying to make ends meet, I feel like there is an, a major escalation in your financial sector. We have here two of pentacles, juggling two financial resources, having to, you know, weigh out, do I really need this? Do I really need this item or do I just want it? Is this an essential item that I can't afford to get? And we're escalating from two of pentacles to the seven of pentacles. So I feel like, you know, hard work does pay off. And this is the week where you're going to really not only, you know, we hear things thrown around but I feel like it's not until we experience it then we're just like wow hard work really does pay off and I feel like you know the the last leg of the journey is happening this um this week and going back to that imagery where I thought it was sightseeing you know the helm of the boat and the land is on on the right side I thought it was more sightseeing what I feel though it might be more of a homecoming it's it's almost like Yay, we've traveled so far and now we're encountering land. There's land right here and we can disembark. We can resume our normal activities. We could also, you know, do further. We can, um, boats in general, it's a rocky, wavy surface. 
going on land and kind of like setting down roots and having a lot more clarity and certainty as to where you can, what you need to do and where you can, you know, land and, and, and feel that sense of stability. I feel like that's the imagery here. It's like no longer a drift. We're finally landing and we're finally going to hit solid ground and we're going to be able to build up something from that solid ground, okay? Um, I don't really have anything else in here uh, for you guys. I feel like if we were to delve into the relationship sector, I, I feel like this. For those who are single, there might be like two options that you're contemplating. So if you're single out there and dating, I feel like there is a, a person that might be older, older than you. And um, I feel like this person is making a little bit of uh, demands on you, okay? So what I'm hearing is uh, my biological clock is ticking. You know, I only have so much time left. Um, I, I want a relationship because I want to build a family. And you're just like, I don't think I'm ready for that. Okay, I want us to be on the same page and I need us to, I need me to be ready. So maybe I'm not suitable for you. If you're looking for that and I'm not ready for that, I don't feel like it's going to lead to a good space. And I feel like this is somebody that is um, pleading with you, you know, they're like wanting to build something solid and, and something stable. And then I also feel like there are a lot of relationship milestones or relationship goals that are kind of uh, put on the back burner because of obligations elsewhere. So it's it's almost like work, life, um, career, establishment, like, you know, dwelling, like all of the practical things that we would associate, like the, the foundational things that you need to do for yourself. All of those things need to be it's, it's almost like you're working to solidify those things or to get all of those things in, in place first before the relationship can move along. That's what it feels like. So it's almost like either, you know, juggling two options or juggling work, school, relationship, finding that personal life balance with the professional life balance. And until your professional life is really solid and clear and stable, that's when you feel like it's safer for you that's when you will feel that it's safe enough for you to pursue the relationship further. So I feel a lot of people who are out here like social dating. And then for those in coupled relationships, this is really great. Seven of pentacles, two people working together. Okay, not collaboratively, but um, people know where they're supposed to go. And, and it's, it's almost like working really, really well with one another, having great communication, having great rapport, both parties are chipping in their fair share of the work or their fair share of energy exchange in order to keep the relationship going. And we also have as well, the sun. So this is a very childlike energy, exuberance, joy, enjoying each other's company. And it's almost like if we have each other, we don't need anything else. We don't need the money. We don't need the nice house and the car and the, you know, the, the, the big screen TV or like the, um, the, the big mansion. If we have each other and we know that we've got each other, then it does, nothing else really matters. So I feel like some of you are with a soulmate. Some of you might have met and are currently with somebody that you would, you know, ride or die with. This is pretty much a really stable relationship where when it's serious, when there's work to be done, you both, you know, don't mind getting your hands dirty to do the work. And then when it's playtime, you both are just, um, you both can shift gears very, very quickly to cater to one another. And whatever the, um, whatever opportunity is coming in, I feel like you both are on the same page, okay? So for those in coupled relationships, whatever hardships you have been dealing with in the past, I want to say the past 10 months, I feel like it, it took a while to get here to the point where there's a lot of trust, a lot of faith, a lot of like this sense of feeling like, oh, I, I you know, this is the one, this is the person that will be there for me. They, they behave like me, they enjoy the same things and they won't quit in a relationship. But then at the same time, it's like, it's not all serious and business. Like you both can have a lot of fun with one another 
And so I feel like whatever has been contentious between the two of you for the past 10 months, it's, it's clearing up and there's a lot more. And I feel like it's cleared up because there's a lot more stability coming into your life as we head into, you know, 2019. So that's really, really good. Um, lots of wishes coming true for you guys for this year. Okay. Lots of wishes coming true. Um, you have here the Fool, which is a brand new start. Okay, we're ending the week with this, as well as the Nine of Cups. So it's not just wishful thinking, you are manifesting. You're working really hard, and I feel like you're trying to keep your dreams. It, 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 like whatever hardships you've endured for the past 10 months, things have cleared up. And I feel like it did not detract you from the bigger purpose. So there were times where you felt like, oh, I just want to scrap this. I just want to walk away. I just want to give up. But you didn't. You stuck it out. And so you're reaping your rewards, okay? Lots of harvest coming in for this week. I'm going to leave it at that for you, Leos. I wish you all the very, very best. Have a wonderful new year. This is going to be a really very good new year for you guys um, by the way jupiter the planet of luck is uh in the sign of sagittarius and sagittarius as a fellow fire sign is making a trine to you so good things are going to be coming in depending on uh where like what house that's in for you you might want to check out your natal chart but i feel like you know the the hard work is done and over with. You're reaping the rewards. So are the Sagittarius people for 2019. Okay, so Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Things are going to be really, really good for you guys uh, from now until October. I mean, it doesn't mean it's going to turn bad, but lots of opportunities. Uh, doors are opening. Dreams are coming true. So it's going to get a lot better. Okay, and 2019 is going to be a really, really memorable year for many of you. So put yourself out there. And if there's that job that you feel is a little bit outside of your league, if there's a person that you feel like, I don't know if uh, I really want to go for it, go for it. Okay, uh, do it big and be bold. It's going to be a really good year. Okay, take care of yourself and I'll talk to you guys soon.